What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Celestia draft here on Golgari.internet slash is it slash Demir slash Boros dot deck. Just tried to skip ahead on the video. <laughs> That's, uh, let me know how that worked out for you. I feel like it didn't work out well, but you know what? Maybe. Is Mike... Uh, where did it, is Mike the underwear model on the site? Mike is the underwater underwater underwear model nowhere, nowhere in existence. Says Mike model underwear. You don't know that. Okay, where do you model it? I don't, I don't want to tell you. Oh, it's a secret. The only model in the bottom half, so you can't tell us me. Oh my god! <laughs> All right, I bet I could still tell. I bet I'd know. I could see. My name is Michael, and I live in the garbage can. My name is Michael. Did you come over here because of Crinkles? Is Crinkles your... Is that your dog's name? Yeah, Crinkles. Come here, little Crinkles. What do we get? Ooh, that's a good, that's a good boy. We'll never draw it, so... That's true. We'll never draw it. Oh, do you model for Dave's Thick Boy Warehouse in Milwaukee? Maybe. <laughs> Can we get your affiliate link? I really hate passing a Beacon Bolt and taking this, but I think it's too good to not take. I could also see taking Skynet Legionnaire. Hey, man, what would you know about dog ear softness? Mitchell, happy birthday, buddy. Happy early birthday. Frank, 15 days. What What do I know about doggo softness? Dog ear softness. I know a lot about it. Those are the ears are like velvet. Chris, it's so close, buddy. Two weeks. Two weeks. What you know about dog ear softness? That's what you said to me? Yeah. That's what you said to me? For those who don't know, uh, Nifty Chris and I are going to BlizzCon in early November. Should be sweet. Oh, you get you do the picks. I forgot. You were doing the picks here. I started oh. I started off, man. I got you rolling. Okay. Rocky Mountain High, Michael B. Hole. Money man. Michael B. Ooh, a wee dragon us. Are you going to attend SC2 matches? Uh, what do you mean by attend? Like watch it or play it? I think you mean watch it. Rocky Mountain High. What's the pick, man? Wee dragon us, I said. You didn't say that. I did say that, actually. You didn't say it. But I did. You didn't say it. Out. You just said you just said ooh we dragonauts, and that was the end. You could have also said ooh direct current as well. Okay. Let's see what we got here. What's this blue card do? That's not very good. I expect no less than three. Will saying, "Are you Frank?" Levo that's a good. That's. I think that's a good number. I would. I'll take the. <sighs> I like the goblin here. You really like that card that much? This card's very good. All right. I'm gonna take this. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I do like it in a world where we can cast it. I don't know if I would take... I don't know if I'd take the over or the under on that. Are you still salty about the... I don't think I was ever salt... I don't think I was ever... Just too, I, was, I don't think I was ever salty about the uh, invert in ra errata in order to still be salty. Sure strike? Yeah. It's a spell, man. It triggers all your spells. Plus three damage? That's five... It's plus five plus oh. Oh, this is a good one. It's not. It's it is not. I like the chromatic lantern here though. It does accelerate you. And it splashes, bro. I guess so. Get that acceleration. Oof. Yeah. I guess the goblin guy. We're not gonna play it, but we can actually play it. We can mentor onto this guy. 
What? That is a late beacon bolt. Is it better than Hoth the Sizzle? Probably, because it's uncommon, so you might not get as many. So beacon bolt deals damage to target creature equal to... Number of incident sorcery cards in exile and in the graveyard. Okay. Bad early on, good later on. I'm sorry, what? Bad early on, good later on. Yes. Maximize velocity. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the other one. Wow, look at this. Look at this shit pack. Take the Raiders. Really? Something scary. <laughs> oh, look at this bargy sargy. I mean, I could see playing that maybe. Whatever, I'll take that just in case we get a white thing. I was gonna say, is it has dried up or not? Yeah, like I think our deck. I think these are some fine as it picks. Like. Rocky Mountain Mike. Michael, Michael. Michael, Michael, Mac. Go to 1.8, that's rough. Still 2,600. <laughs> is this your favorite comic tone if you had one to pick? This is this is on my this is one of my grails, as they say. I'm looking for uh um, I, I, I I have a, an eBay search for Fantastic Four number five graded. And uh, well actually not even graded, ungraded, I'll 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 take as well. You just, can just get it graded. Yeah. Which is the first appearance of Doctor Doom. Oh, Mossy Beard. Let's see what this is. <laughs> oh, to be fair, they didn't we didn't see a Trostani, but uh This is pretty funny. Oh, we didn't see March, but uh, yeah, this is good. This is good stuff. <laughs> is this a pile? Oh, that's gas, dude. That is gasoline. I'm actually almost tempted to take this Venerated Loxon on because we have Boros Guildgate and Chromatic Lantern. And just being able to tap like a bunch of crappy is it nerds to make them real good. I don't know, man. I mean, what's the alternative? Another Sonic Assault? I think this is yeah. stronger than... This is one white. Yeah. Also, if we get like a fresh face recruit, we wouldn't even need the, the white mana. We could just tap that guy. It's true. I think this card's strong. Strong enough to splash, though. And we already have two ways to do it. Oh, we also have a Boros Locket. I don't even know how this got here, but... Yeah, I don't remember picking that. Well, it's here now. I'm taking this. The Double Venerated Loxodons! Is it good enough now? I guess so. <laughs> Alright, well, we'll just take two, I guess. Now they're definitely going in and the Sergeant's coming out. Oh, another Beacon Bolt? Jeez. Plus, we can easily get Boros Guildgates. Like, that's not an issue. Beacon Bullet is, I guess. Yeah. What's that card even do? It's got a lot of text. Uh, if you target it with a spell, you can copy it and choose a different creature. So, okay. like, you can... If you maximize out Velocity or Sure Strike or something onto it. It's also like it. 2 2 for 2 which Yeah, is nice. I agree. And it, it lets us play our Venerated Loxon. Leapfrog, Leapfrog or, or Guildgate. Guildgate. I think if we definitely play to Loxodon, I think it's Guildgate. <sighs> yeah, I kind of agree. We can also I think we can also get more Leapfrogs. I think that's fine. Guild Summit. Interesting. Probably just Fire Urchin. Sure. It's not exciting, but whatever. It's definitely not exciting. However, it's a 2-4 with a Loxodon. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh-huh. If you could have any graded comic, what would it be? Any graded comic? Outside of... Without... Without... Uh, monetary value for... Like, like what would be the one that you want? Not necessarily because of money. It would probably be Fantastic Four number 5. Okay. Yeah, outside of money, I would be that. But like, if it was money, I would just say Action Comics number one. Yeah, because it's the obvious. Right. It's like because it's like two milli, or something like that. It's actually. Let's see what the most recent Action Comics. This is from 2014. Oh, 2018. Yeah, two mil. Wow. Yep, uh, two million seven thousand dollars. That's pretty good. I guess we'll just take this guy. There's nothing else in this pack. We play. Boros Locket, sure. 
Yeah, this was June of this year. I mean, there can't be that many of them floating around, right? Actually, what was this? Oh, 8.5? Holy shit, 8.5 is super high. Yikes. No, there are definitely not a lot of them floating around. The Rocky Mountain Mike, Colorado. I guess we'll just take Hunted Witness. None of these cards are gonna gonna, gonna see our deck. Don't look at my deck. So waiting for my bag, Death of Superman, to get up to two mil. Well, you're gonna be waiting a while, man. <laughs> yeah, you keep on keep on waiting, buddy. You, uh, I believe in you. This pack was not as good for us. Three Boros lockets in the sideboard that we can play all the white cards now. Ral Zarek or Niv Mizzet one time. Eh, or risk factor. Risk factor is actually not bad. I'm going to take the risk factor. That's a lot of damage. That's Plus, a lot of damage. If Watcher, Direct Current, or is it Guildgate come back? I'll be okay with that. Oh, a Direct Current. I'm game. Yeah, let's take that. All right, this deck looks good already. Risk factor for the bisque factor. I always risk 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 factor for the bisque factor. If you know what I mean. Man. Buy it now for four grand when it's at one point five. Jeez. It's got a Stanley signature on it though. It still looks not great. It also says cover detached, piece out of page fourteen, effects story, piece out of page thirteen, fifteen, and sixteen effects art. That's pretty brutal. Yeah. I mean if you're gonna go for it, I'd rather it look nice. I'd rather just wait. Yeah, I'll just wait and get a good yeah, I mean like it's obviously it's it's definitely not a, a, a purchase that you just rush in and pick the pick a bad one. Probably just snack, selective snare. <laughs> Down Tokyo Rain. Just with it with the soul the soul comment of the blooms. <laughs> Five de blooms. We have no four drops. I'm gonna take select selective snare. But you could have just got a four drop. What was it? The guy that gives plus two plus oh. I don't even care about that stupid board though. I'm also this is this is good in our in our white splash, right? Yes. Yes, that's also a four drop. Now what? Ooh, now what? Is it Guildgate? Fresh face recruit. The best part about the recruit is that it lets us play Venerated Loxanon earlier. We also only have ten creatures, so I think I want the creature. Sure. Maybe we're heavier white than we are than we thought. Yeah, this is a lot of Legionnaires. There's no blue cards in this pack. I'm just taking this guy. Wow! What is even happening with these packs, dude? Good lord. It's gotta be this, right? We're dealing so much damage with Risk Factor, Direct Current. Plus, this also triggers both of these, whereas Luminous Bonds does not. We could also just play the Integ... <sighs> this is insane. This guy's just a big dude. You're right. All right. So this is 25 cards? Probably cut the banner at Definitely cut the banner at You definitely cut the banner at it. Yeah, actually, well, we're splashing blue, but we have double blue here. Oh, is a guild gate. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Rocky Mountain High, Colorado. I think this song's going to be stuck in my head probably forever, for the rest of my life. Seems like a serious condition. Oh, we have to. I forgot the chromatic lantern, which is pretty nice. It is a serious condition. Okay. I cut fire return over banneret. Mm, I like. Mm, um, 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 maybe. We do have to make one more cut. It's probably locksmith. Another Boros Guild Gate. Oh, another fresh face recruit. <sighs> what do you think, man? I like the land better here. I 
Matthew, or you can just listen to the Fallout West Virginia song. It's just a John Denver song. <laughs> what? You West like? Virginia, Michael Mama. Michael Mama, take me home where I belong. West Virginia, Michael Mama. Country roads, take Mike home. I almost do like the banner app, but I don't know what I'd cut for it. I like Fire Urchant, I think. I don't want to cut any creatures. Maybe it's maximum velocity. So you can play what a uh, what over it? Uh the banneret. You take my life, but I take I'll play the banner. Well, I like it because it's is a three one. It can mentor onto like all of our two drops. Yeah. Wow, the Swath Cutter, the other Swath Cutter man came back? That's pretty crazy. Look at this weird deck, man. This deck looks great, though. Assuming we can cast your spells, yes. I mean, we have four Guild Gates and a Chromatic Star. It's called the Lantern. Uh, it's a Lantern. Uh, it's, a, it's a Lantern, you stupid. <laughs> Well, now we need two cuts. I think it's probably one Swath Cutter. I think that's fine. We can also just play 21 lands and a Lantern. I think I like that. Or not 21, but uh, 41 cards and a Lantern. I'm game. <sighs> Alright, so let's look at... This is a very heavy red deck. Yeah, pretty much everything's red except for two cards. These guys are blue. Or white, rather. Or red. Okay, we'll get it. We'll get it. So four of these, two of which can be cast off the fresh face recruities. This is one, two, three, four, five. So I think that's probably fine. Three, four, five, six, seven, six, seven, nine, ten. I think it's probably good like this. Five, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Actually, one more. Six, seven, nine. This is ten red sources, not including the lantern. Five, six blue sources, not including the lantern. And five red sources. Or white sources, rather. Not including the lantern. i will probably actually cut a white source for a blue source. Really? Oh, we also have the... Never mind. We also have these. So... I forgot we had the... Uh... Yeah, that seems good. I like that. Uh, Piston Fist actually should be the, the creature in Abrupt Decay, because it was Ravnica. Abrupt Decay was a Ravnica card. And... Uh... It was one of the, the Nivix Cyclopses that's being destroyed. So you are correct. Because they all cost like three or less. I think Crackling Jerk is too good of a card? Probably not too good of a card. How many rares do we have in our deck? Oh, just five. Is that all? Is it all? Is it Burroughs? I'm going to keep this hand. Okay. I want to keep this hand. Zero other instant and sorcery cards in your graveyard and exile. Oh, yeah, and even the, the flavor text on Abrupticate even says the it quickly suspended their policy of lifetime guarantees. Yeah, it's all, actually, it's, it's, it's very perfect. How that works out. Our opponent's name is Tiffany Trump. That's actually hilarious. That's the best thing I've ever heard. Michael B. Take me home. To the place. With Michael's mom. Mike Virginia. Tiffany Trump, yeah. Take me home. Hot stuff. <laughs> oh. Fascinating. We can still play this guy. This guy on three if we hit any land, which is nice. It might actually be Tiffany Trump. That's a good point. She could play magic. She likes to keep out of the public profile. For obvious public uh, that's the word I'm looking for here 
I don't know. You know I, what? The public I, eye. the public eye. There you go. You did good. Michael, I'll take I'll take your mic, but you'll take mine too. I'll fire at Michael, but he'll run me through. You think they're gonna counter this? No, because there's no counter spell that could do that. Okay. Are you sure? Yeah. Not even Shmoina Drain. Shmoina Drain actually is in the next set. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Typical. He thought Shmoina Drain was in this set. Remember the time they reprinted Mana Drain but made a five mana? What card? It's a card out of Ixalan that like gives you treasures equal to whatever it was got, so it's five mana to counter. Yeah, but that's hard counter. Oh, Mana Drain. I got you. I thought you meant Mana Leak. My bad. Wow, they just hard cast a Narco Are you some kind of idiot? <laughs> yes. I'm not very smart. I'm not very smart. What are you doing your face over there? Nothing. You wiggling something? You wiggling your ear? A little bit. A little doing a little ear wiggle? Maybe I am, maybe I ain't. What? What? We're going to do one of these jobbies. You ready? I'm going to get aggressive. Be aggressive. Be aggressive. Gonna always be mentoring. ABM. Always be mentoring. You got another one? Oh. What? That was fascinating. That was a fascinating choice you made. Shmoina Drain. I mean, this guy's an easy trade. Should I build Modern Dredge? I have four Narco Mutants. You're halfway there. That's basically the deck, right? I just want to play a little Fire Urchin. Wait, they're playing Narco <laughs> You just realized that? Why? It's a good 1-1 flyer, man. No, it's not. It's not. Because you could surveil it in your graveyard, and that's pretty cute, I guess. That's so not worth it. I agree with you. I mean, I'm trying to, I'm trying to take their life. Can you think they could take mine too? Maybe. Okay. A good talk. Everybody's getting big. This is where they go price of fame because they always have it. They always have the uncommon price of fame. Oh, it's an artful takedown. Well then, I guess we're not attacking. Who are we kidding? Just don't cut their life. Oh, what is that, Papa Roach? Oh, look at old creepy old creepy eyes. What do you think Papa Roach is doing nowadays? I bet they do weddings and stuff now. <laughs> Cut my life into pieces. This is my last resort. I'd like to thank the bride and the groom here. So here's what we're going to do. Are you ready for this sweetness? Smoking roaches. Wow. <laughs> Look at this beautiful, beautiful thing. They had a big hit a few years ago, like surprising reason. What? What was the hit? Look at our look at our look at our splash, bro. Plus one, plus one, plus one. Prop, prop. Go ahead, bounce him. I dare you. I dare you. They have no cards in hand. Good to know. Good to know. I wish I had more than one one of these jobbies. So we can maximize velocity here. What do we get rid of the giant? Probably.
Can you do quick maths? Not really. You'll take mine, but I'll take yours too. How you doing over there? Good. Are you doing good? Yeah. Don't yell at me. Yes. What's that from? Your dad? What's that from your dad? What's that from your dad? I will one of these packs for you. Okay. Let me know if it's anything good. Take my life. Take yours too. Fire that musket. Run me through. You know how it goes. Mike B. Had my first shot of tequila tonight. When are you going to start drinking? We were going to drink together. That was last night. You were not here. Mike already drank last night. Oh, boy. That was just wasted last what night. What the hell? So we got an Elf Knight. That's three for three in Elf Knight tokens. Oh, that's good. Slesnia Guildgate. And a March of the Multitudes. That's a mythic. Yeah, that's a mythic. There you go. I opened a mythic for you. How about that? That's actually a good one. That's a good. That's a good mythy. Oh, let me make sure you guys can see it. March of the Multitudes. That is a solid mythy. Like, did you drink a lot? Well, considering I drank... He, he like drank two, about half... Two-thirds of the bottle. He drank about half a bottle of vodka, yeah. It's more than half. Oh, I'm sorry. My bad. I didn't want to... I didn't mean to... But, 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 but. That's 13 brapples. How much is March of the Multitudes worth, I wonder? Radical Ideas. They just discarded their guild gate for Radical Ideas. Don't think it's seeing standard play, right? You're not seeing standard play. Look at these guys holding down the fort. We can keep dealing this guy one because then it has no good blocks. I guess we can hit. I guess we can not. I want to F6 because if they drew like another unexplained disappearance, then. Oh, they just, they just lost the game, I guess. 13 Brapples. I said that a moment ago. All right, God. My God. Brapples, brapples, can I get a brapple? Brapple, brapples, brapples. It's a, it's a jackal. Is it a jackal? Jackal, a jackal. Jackal. That's from Family Guy, I think. It is. It, it is. Uh, guilds, Ravnica prices. All right, let's see what we got here. This is MTG. Let's go to paper. March is worth, wow, 13, 14 bones. Hmm. Maybe huh. it's good. Huh. Huh. Where's Ral? Ral is like 10. Doom Whisper is worth more than Assassin's Trophy? Yeah. What even is Doom Whisper? It's the stupid surveil guy. Oh, that guy's worth more? What? It's It shouldn't be. It's a mistake. I'm going to keep this hand because we have two playables if we hit a blue. One playable if we hit any land. And then we just got the curve out. <laughs> okay. Another playable. Okay, we're doing it. You ready? Okay, we didn't do it. We missed. We whiffed, as you might, as as the kids whiffed say. Whiffed pretty hard. Anything say draw a card on it? No, nothing does. Oh, a dark, a dark slick agent. Dark Slick Shores agent. More like a Dark Snickleberries. One Dark Snickleberry. This is where they bounce our guy attack and draw a card. That would be good. They did not bounce our guy. Well, I'm not going to take any damage here. I'm not going to not going to block here. My cousin coaches high school wrestling, and his kids come out to last resort. <laughs> Cut my life into pieces. Did they cut your life into pieces? Suffocation? No bleeding?
Did you say suffocation, no bleeding? No no breathing? Yeah, it's breathing. Whatever, man. I don't know. Sounds like 35 years old, bro. Hawk there, Frank. Please don't death now. Fennel droid. What are you even saying, buddy? What are you even saying? Just uh, decode it. I'll decode your face. Decode it. This beam slur may just six damage if we target it, right? That targets only him. If you control one of the creatures, choose one of them and copy it. That's pretty good. All right, let's do it. Boy, no, no, boy, okay, okay. This deck is crazy, man. Ours? Yeah. Why? Oh, it's just weird. Tell me why. Tell me why. Tell me why. You know what? Sure. If you got a artful dodge, would have killed it. All right, Thank sure. You. So you two for one yourself. No, you one for you one for one. Sure. Hail dog! Thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. I really appreciate the resub. It's not bad. It's not bad. We can actually play this guy, maximize on and this guy, and then copy it onto this guy. It's three, four, six, seven, eight damage. That puts him to six. Seems decent. That does seem decent. I don't know what to get rid of. Probably get rid of the direct current, I guess. I'll just get rid of the other piston fist cyclops. Maybe that's fair. Oh boy. Thank you. You go to six and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven damage in hand. Yikes. Swifty Gamers, thanks so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Jay Sizzle, thank you so much for the resub. I'd like to upgrade my fan status to big for four ninety nine, please. I accept. That's pretty good. Eh, it's a two for one. Whatever. They're just dead. They're, our hand kills them. Unless they somehow gain life. Like, if they play any guy, we just tap it down, deal them two, attack for two, and then we have multiple cards that just murder them on the spot. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, we can actually just pump this guy. <laughs> yeah, sure. Integrity. Tiffany Trump, I'm sorry I killed you. Are you sorry? No, not at all. Actually, the first three rares we open in this box are... Uh, all three of them are, are pretty solid Celestia rares. Look at them. Look at those beautiful Celestia rares. Looking at them. Look at them, I said. Look at them with your special eyes. Look at them with your Celestia eyes. Celestia eyes, they're watching you. They see your Celestia moves, baby. I think our deck is good. What do you well, think? Well, as long as we can cast your spells, it is. I feel like that's every magic game, right? As long as you can cast your spells, you're good. Not if your deck sucks. I guess that's true. Like our, like our, spells you like want. the Celestia deck. I thought the deck wasn't that bad. No, our opponent, our opponent's oh. Celestia deck. Oh yeah, man, that was that was such a pile. <laughs> to keep. Oh boy, good times. All right, so we do need one red source here, 
but we can still cast We Dragonauts if we don't get it, so. We can Dragonauts whatever we want. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was pretty good. It occurs to us that we Dragonauts whenever we want. Oh, look at this. Whose Venom emote is that? Oh, literally, we are Venom. That's hilarious. Is that like from the Venom movie? We are Venom. Got the no way in the heart? I trust that. I like that you can just trust. It's like sometimes you're just like, all right, I got a good feeling. Oh, God, he's taking all. He's going to open up the stream. He's opening the stream right now. Be prepared for the tech. Uh, I was born. <laughs> Land? That's an old meme, but it checks out. It definitely does. That'll be good forever. All right, well, it's still land. I'll still take it. How does one use emote in Twitch? How do you... Look, the guy in the chat doesn't even... I feel like if your name is guy in the chat, you should probably be pretty familiar with the chat, right? It's literally part of your name. Like, if my name was guy at the baseball game, I feel like I would know everything about baseball, right? He's just saying he's a guy in chat, not an expert. He's just a guy hanging out in chat. All right, I'll, I'll believe you. I'll... I'll... Hey. Hey. It's almost Halloween, man. Do you know that? Ooh. Do you want to go trick or treating and you can be my son? We can have father and son costumes. You know, sure. I'm down if you're down. <laughs> Why you know, not? You know what? Okay. Not the haster first. Um. Well, no, because I want to be able to block this. If we deal two and then they come back and deal us two and gain two, it doesn't do anything. Yeah, but it'll look real cool. Actually, we do play this first, because next turn we can play this, and we'll still have a second red to give it maximum velocity. So It'll look, re it'll look real cool. <laughs> How come you played the subpar creature first? Because it looked real cool. What's going to be your costume? I see why you do enemies draft strength competitively. You draft pack one, pick one, rile. Pack two, pick one. May have missed it. Beautiful is a deck. Cat, crash out, O3. Can't draw more than three lands. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, And for a stream... Especially when I when I rely on uploading these the drafts to YouTube, that makes for a terrible video. No one's gonna be like, "Oh, 16 minute video." I guess he lost in the first round, obviously. So, well, you know, private eyes—they're watching you. Me? Wow. Oh wait, you did do the thing I said. That's weird. Why? It looked cool. Remember? <laughs> you shouldn't listen to me at all, man. Could honest. you please with draft on YouTube? I'm an avid watcher there. Done and done. How do I add comments? What? How do I add commands? I'll never tell. We we can eat tasty sandwiches whenever we want. Oh, you said Sammy's, which I like. Hmm. That's a good nickname for sandwiches. A Sammy. How can we play the inferior creature first? I drew the mountain. Oh, I see. Now you get to take one of my split cards. That's annoying. Oh. I kind of like that you took one that one. I mean, it makes sense. I mean, it makes sense. I mean, it makes sense. This is a good one. I could go burn their face, attack you for 76. I 76. Also... You just pad the 16 minute video with an hour and a half. <laughs> just... Yeah, that's actually, isn't that, that's what CFB does. And I feel like people get annoyed by that. Oh, that's nice, but I can't do it right now. I don't know if I can do that for half an hour though. Well, it's too bad. You have to.
one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Dude, we can deal ten to them right hey, now. What man? I know she had that Jets. The Jets? I actually just yeah. tempted to kill this for one. Two Jets? Oh yeah, I did. I got some Jets today. How was it? It was good. I enjoyed it. So you'd order it again? I would order it again. Okay. I guess we have a new Thick Boy place. Ooh. A new Thick Boy place? Uh, one thing I would recommend is the extra sauce definitely seemed necessary. The last time I got it, it was kind of dry. But extra sauce made it real moist. When have you ever ordered pizza without extra sauce? Uh, It's been a while. I just don't trust pizza places to put enough sauce on there. So I'm like, give it a little, give it a little sauce bump. Oh, I see. <laughs> sorry, sorry. We're having a good time. What did you discard? And is it is it Locket? Well, I see. You think you're friends with somebody and then they discard an is it Locket of yours. I want to attack, but I also want to pump. What do I do? Hmm. Actually, what if I play this guy for five, pumping this guy, and then I give it maximum velocity? Maximum velocity! Boop! Five, yeah. So this is three in the air. This is two. We can tap their blocker down. I think they might be dead, but who knows? Who knows how magic works? Not me. Not me. We can order jets whenever we want. <laughs> uh, official Venom stream now. It occurs to me... God, I really wanted to like that movie. But you didn't. It's one of those... Maybe it's one of those movies where, like, the first one sucks, but then the next ones are really good. Which ones are like that? I know that's a thing, right? And there's there's first ones that really weren't good, but they learned their lesson and they made the next ones better. I have no idea. Most franchises, the first one's the best. That's true. Ghostbusters. Caddyshack. Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Are you saying all the 80s comedies? <laughs> Actually, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids was 90s, I think. Yeah, I think that was early 90s. Maybe. Godfather. Actually, Godfather 2 was probably the better Godfather. Do you think so? Yes. I've only seen them once. Paul Blart. <laughs> oh, we can do whatever we want. You know, I've seen some of Paul Blart 1. It wasn't great. What Frank... You don't like Honey, I Blow Up the Kids? You know what? It's not great. It's going to be a land. Oh, it's going to be a little fresh-faced buddy boy. Fresh-faced buddy boy. Buddy boy. Back off, boogaloo. What are you doing, man? You messing with my box? Yes. Oh, Yes. Don't counter this. Don't sinister. Don't sinister sabotage me, bro. Uh oh. Why do you have a card to play? I don't understand why we thought we were friends. Turns out we're not friends. I guess that's still not terrible. Can yeah. you just jump start and kill them? Uh huh. Oh, you don't have mana. Never mind. Yeah, that's what I meant. I meant no. I said uh huh, but I meant no. They do have to block here, which is nice. And they go to one, and we have a Sonic Assault in the graveyard. My favorite was Honey, I Sold the Kids for Drug Money. Yeah, that was a good one. That's a classic. Classic Vlasic Pickles. No. Why not? Because no. Because no. The answer is no, Michael. Is it? Well, they're totally dead next turn, so. They're at one. They can win. We can just jumpstart them. I, I literally just said that. You're just like, you're not even listening to me. You're right. I didn't listen to you at all, and I had no idea you said that. Now you know. Is that, uh, is that your pig nose? It's not someone else's pig nose, is it? It might be. What if you stole it? That would be weird. You think people just go around stealing other people's pig noses? I don't know what you do with your day, man. That's fair, I guess. I could steal pig noses if I wanted to. They have two cards. Can they deal us an extra four damage here? No. 
I'm going to take it. Because they have to have a counter for this. Because even if they have a counter for this, like, if we traded, they would have two blockers. Oh, this guy, this guy, even this guy, this guy has float, though. I don't understand. It occurs to me that we can shrink whichever kids we want. <laughs> oh, these Venom memes are good. Third strands, sacking. Oh, wow. That was good. Does that do it for you, though? All right. Let's get her done. They have one card in hand. It can't be a disdainful stroke. All right, we did it. Woo, that was actually close. If they had something, like if they had a bounce spell for this guy, it's actually pretty bad because this is four. So they could actually draw... Oh, that would have been a good one. What would we have drawn? Pew, pew, pew. Pew, pew, pew. That was amazing. That was amazing. We can do whatever we want. Mm -hmm. Should we play this one Hunted Witness? Oh, now we can't. Lights gets a necrotic wound. Lights was like dazzling lights. Dazzling lights. This is not a good hand, but it is a hand. I'm not going to go to five here. I'll just assume I'll hit a Boros Garrison, Boros uh, Gildegate on the top. You have to get up for work in six hours. Man, just watch this on YouTube. Go to bed, man. You're crazy. <laughs> You're throwing off my rhythm? I didn't even mean to do that. How is Ant-Man and the Hornet? Uh, it's uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp, actually. That's real buggest of you. What, you think all wasps or you think all bees are hornets? I thought it was Dees. I enjoyed it. That's uh, not a... If we could just hit one more land in Chromatic Lantern, it's actually very, very good. It's a lot better than Venom, I'll tell you that. It was more enjoyable than Venom, I agree. Remember that part where Ant-Man was doing that questionable pl plan and then... Um, he would then then they were questioning him and then he was like it occurs to me that me and the ants can do whatever we want <laughs> i do remember that yeah yeah that was a really weird point in the movie i feel like venom kind of just copied that part oh my god is this a chromatic lantern mirror match please oh, let me hit a land so i can play mine too okay thank you appreciate it hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Did Paul Rudd continue to play the fascinating character of Paul Rudd? Yes, and it was he was just as charming and funny as you would expect. That's true. Paul Rudd does always play Paul Rudd. Yeah, but he's very... But uh, it's okay. But it's an appealing character. Got a soldier. A soldier, if you will, from the French. A Demir Guildgate. From the... From the... The Guild... Gate... And then we got a gruesome Menagari. Menagaria? It's from the Italian. Menagaria. I can't wait till I go to play play an event and someone calls it Menagiri. Uh, gruesome Menagiri. And I'll probably just cry at that moment. There's got to be some combo with that card, right? Yeah, like you put creatures in your graveyard and you... Yeah, Deathrite Shaman, Leovold, and uh, Baleful Strikes. You get them all in the graveyard or you bring them all back. It's pretty good. I know. I don't know how to deal with this card in my deck specifically. Is that a 4-5? Correct. Oof. Does anyone remember when Paul Rudd was on Friends? I don't, but I assume he was probably one of Monica's boyfriends. Because that's what most guest stars were on that show. They were always Tom Selleck, um, John Favreau. They were all Monica's boyfriends. I like when Wasp said B can do whatever B want. Wow, that's not even the right insect. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, he married Phoebe. Oh, that's great. He wasn't one of Rachel's boyfriend, Monica's boyfriends. That's great. That's great. Uh, here's a here's a 
Here's a question. What was the best NBC sitcom of all time? And we, you know, it doesn't even, it's, it's got to be an NBC one because those are literally all of the best sitcoms of all time. Why would it be upsetting that Kirk, Kirk Douglas is still alive? Oh, wow. I thought you said Michael Douglas at first. Kirk Douglas is still alive? Wow. That's amazing. Was that his dad? Yeah, he was like, he, he was like original Spartacus. He's 101 years old? That's insane. Wow. That's gas, dude. Way to go, Kirk Douglas. That's not... Why would that be depressing? There's no way that's upsetting. That's great. Good for him. Yep, this guy is a problem. Was Parks and Rec on NBC? Yes, Parks and Rec was NBC. The Office was NBC. Seinfeld was NBC. I don't think Scrubs was actually... Scrubs was not NBC. Scrubs was uh, Fox, if I if I remember correctly. Uh Mad About You was NBC. Cheers and Frasier, also NBC. Oh, they had it them all. Full House was ABC. So don't even try to get... Don't bring your full house in here, buddy. Mm. Making your way in the... Yep, NBC. Sure. Saying the Cosby Show doesn't get you banned, not even close. I love, I grew up on the Cosby Show and it's super, super awkward that Bill Cosby is now in prison. Like, it's just so weird, man. Weird, man. That's like that. Remember that famous Kirk Douglas line, we can Spartacus whenever we want? Wow. <laughs> it occurs to me that we can be gladiators whenever we want. And NBC really did have all the sitcoms. That's crazy. Oh, so I'm sorry, NBC. Then it was picked up by ABC. Interesting. Okay. I never watched Fox, so that was a surprise. That doesn't surprise me. That's just the one I got wrong. Well, and Grace is also NBC. Jesus. I mean, the answer is Seinfeld. Like, Seinfeld is the best sitcom that was ever made. That's like your opinion, man. No, that's a factual statement. We can do whatever we want today and everything you got. Wouldn't you like to get away? MASH is very good. I wouldn't consider MASH a sitcom, though. Would? Wasn't it? it kind of, but like, I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, I guess MASH is a sitcom. It is a situational comedy. Wouldn't you like, wouldn't you Mike to get away? Would have loved to land here because the 6-6 six, six would go a long way to us stabilizing against their 4-5, but. I'm going to open that door now. You're going to open it? Yeah. You're getting a little toasty? A little bit, yeah. Oh, I'm getting so toasty. My name is Michael and I get a little, uh, little toasty. So I opened the door. Haven't you ever heard of closing the goddamn door, Michael? No. Oh, that's okay. I forgive you. <laughs> Michael... I'm really glad that no one in the chat has said Big Bang Theory. That makes me really happy. Came in to see the Magnuson beer before going to bed. Zico on. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Although uh, you might have left. No, you're still here. Cool. Thanks for the beard compliment. I didn't see it among the, uh, the sitcom. Oh, I see what you're doing here. You're bouncing your own human? Fascinating. What a time to be alive. Because you limited us to NBC. Isn't Big Bang Theory on NBC? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't because it's not great. Oh, it's CBS. That's perfect. Thank you. Oh, okay. So if I said, if I said Big Bang, if I said all networks, you guys would have said Big Bang Theory? Please. No, you asked what the best sitcom was, not what the worst one was. See? Nice. He's right. I did. So. To be fair, it's probably not the worst, but it's pretty bad. It's not good.
I think we're dead. I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the next game. No. Yeah. I don't know. Zero other incident sorcery cards in your graveyard? I don't think that's true. <laughs> that feels inaccurate. Bouncing around your bolster and layout. Simpsons or Seinfeld? Are you asking my preference? I have to say Seinfeld. Um, I think Seinfeld is more consistently good. I do think The Simpsons is very, very high up there and it's very groundbreaking as a show. But for me, Seinfeld is peak peak rate peak writing. For for my money, Larry David, you can't get better than Larry David for me. I hope they don't turn to take my swath cutter giant, because I'd cry. Do you want to see me cry? Sure. <laughs> well, that's not what I was expecting. Why don't you open one of them packs again, boy? Okay. Open it ASMR style. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna open the pack now. It occurs to me we can bazinga whenever we want. Man, hope you guys hope you guys hope your ASMR crinkles are getting are getting triggered right now. Hunter, are you over here thinking this is a snack? He probably is. He's like, I hear rappers. <laughs> He's a good boy. American Dude is greater than Family Guy? Uh, I don't think so. He's close. But I don't dislike American Dad. So I, don't, I absolutely agree that Seinfeld is probably the most consistent sick of all of that time period. And arguably ever, it ranges from good to stellar. And has I agree, Yeah, there are very few episodes of Seinfeld that are just unwatchable. So we got a soldier token with lifelink. I got a Selesnia Guildgate. Without lifelink. No lifelink for the Guildgate, unfortunately. And finally, we have a Runaway Steamkin, which also doesn't have lifelink. That's a good card, though. It's probably worth something, right? Your mother's worth something. Thank you. I think. You're welcome. I would love to draw no more lands for the rest of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There you go. These are good rares, man. You open March of the Multitudes and, and a Runaway Steamkin. That's good. It's you like did all good. the rage in the red decks, right? It is all the rage. All the kids are talking about their runaway steamkins. Seinfeld coin shrinkage. How much better is it? Let's be real. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to block you because why would I do that? What do I look like? Some kind of idiot? American Dad and Family Guy are basically the same show. Oh, and is it Locket? And is it Pop It and Locket? Are you missing a land drop here? Oh, a second pass lineup. And you are missing a land drop. Oh, my biscuits. Well, butter my biscuits. No, thank you. I said butter them. You will butter them. Please butter my biscuits. This guy's a big boy. He's probably dead. I hear good, I've heard nothing but good things about Veep, and I keep meaning to watch it. Veep? Veep. It's about. It has Julia Lou Dreyfus from Seinfeld. It is a Showtime show. And the premise is she's the vice president of the United States who finds a job. The job is nothing like she expects, but everything her incompetent staff warned her about. Okay. It's gotten really, like... 91% on Rotten Tomatoes, 8.1 on IMDb, 90% like the show. I don't know why TV.com gave it that, but I don't actually choose them as a veritable review source, so I'm not, it's fine. Making Mike's way in the world today takes everything Mike's got. Three, four, five. I guess we're just getting in there. One, two. I can actually pump this guy to like a million, and one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can't pump him twice and keep up Sure Strike. And I also don't really want to. Uh... That sucks. One, two, one, two. I want to be able to replay him if he gets triple blocked, but. Or I could just kill all three of their things if he gets triple blocked, I guess, right? One, two, three, four, five. Seems fine. 
Why can't you? Because it's uh, seven. It's eight. It would be eight mana. This guy would have to be a seven one. I'd have to use this three times, which would be six mana. And then this is two mana. It's one, two, three, four, six, seven. I'm one mana shy. I, this has to be. I have to make this guy a three one, then a five one, then a seven one, and then a mentor onto this guy. And if he just bounces this, it's fine. I'll just replay it. This is actually pretty good for us because. Uh, Well, we have sure strike, so we're just going to kill everything they, they put in front of this guy. Which will probably just be these two, I bet. Can't pump twice and hold... Uh, I, meant th I meant pump three times, I guess. I meant can't pump enough so that's big enough to... Uh... You know what I'm saying. Wouldn't you like to get away? I wish this guy had trample. That would be a ch solid chunk of five damage if they had trample, but... How do you feel about trample, Mike? It's a good. <laughs> it's a good. Want to open another pack? I'll never say no to that. Me neither. Oh. He almost dropped it. Oh. My name is Jeff. We got a bird illusion. A burlusion. Boros Guild Gate. And finally, a Legion War Boss. Oh, a Legion War Boss is a good one too. Man, you're pulling. Why are you pulling all the good shit? Because that's how I do. Oh, is that how you do? I how open, do you I do? I'm sickly. Uh, so now we can do this. And this guy becomes a 6 6. But then they just double block here, right? That seems worse. Buddy Lee, have a good night, buddy. Thank you for hanging out. Really appreciate it. Uh, I don't think we're attacking with these guys. They have one card in hand. I'm okay with that. I would like to draw Explosion Expansion here. One, two, three, four, six, seven. Four damage is pretty good. I'll take it. We can attack with this guy and then four damage this guy. I'm game. Banner, it's also holding down the fort here. I think they're going to draw two cards. You ready? Mm-hmm. One, two. Yep, they did it. God, they're so predictable. Mike B has magic hands? <laughs> that seems weird. Well, don't talk about Mike B's magic hands. Why not? Because it's weird, okay? Don't be weird. Oh, wow. This card just dies. I don't really want to risk factor here because we might be able to uh, trigger something like a... I don't even know why you played that. Why? Because I wanted to see if... Maybe they'd give us cards. No. They didn't. You wait till the late game. When they're low on the pole. Sh what? <laughs> sure to get low, low, low. Four Man, that cat's fences. so loud. He's really loud. His whole life is just loudness. Making your way in the world today takes everything you got. I want to be honest with you. I'm real tempted to go maximum velocity, maximum velocity. Make this guy four, five, six, seven. Deal four here, three here. If you trade both of these guys for this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we'd pump this guy three times. We'd make him a seven one, but then we couldn't actually mentor onto this guy. We can only do it once. I do kind of want to just attack to kill this guy. I don't know what to do here. I 
I just don't know if that gives us very good, like, it just doesn't seem great here. Like, if we split up the velocity, we have a 2-2 two, two and a 6-6, six, six, right? And then we pump 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we can pump three times, making it an 8-2. And this guy becomes a 7-7. Seven, seven. That seems decent. see what happens I guess it just gives us no cards left in hand mm -hmm. wouldn't you like to get away It does let us keep this guy around if they want to block. But I'm pretty sure they're just double. Actually, four, five, six, seven. They have to triple block here, don't they? Yeah, I guess that's fine. Make a seven, seven. Yeah, so we deal four and three. We kill both of these guys. They take eight. It's not a bad trade. This guy does block this guy forever, though, which is problematic. But they'd be at eight, and risk factor actually puts them to four. So cards like a card like Sonic Strike or Sonic Assault or whatever it is uh, should finish the job. Of course, they could just not triple block this as well. They could just chump block it. Oh, okay. Triple block it. Yep, seems good. So, big guy. So, I'm going to say four to this guy and three to this guy. Yeah, that seems fine. And they go to eight. All right. Well, we got four damage here or three cards. Probably four damage. Hope they don't have any other children of the night it was the children of the night oh, that's Whoa. Good. well I guess we're trading with that guy or this guy I guess yikes huh that's pretty good Why don't you have trample? <laughs> Would that be too good, do you think? Probably. That was a good draw. Uh, in order to factor, we'd have to discard this, and then we can't actually play it, and we want to get rid of Thief of Sanity immediately. Come on, explosion expansion, one time. I like that I have this random 8277 in the chat. <laughs> It's like a lost episode of something. Okay. Well, we can wait and risk factor here. Which seems pretty dangerous because they would go to four. And direct current would put them to two. That's correct. Yeah, sure. Do you want to give me three cards? Do you want to go to four? Wow. Bold strategy, Cotton. <laughs> yep, that's pretty good. All right. That's going to go to the face. 
Our deck has a lot of burn in it. I guess we just hope we don't, didn't hit a counter spell, like a disdainful stroke. That would be pretty sad. There's no way to really play around it, though. Ooh, I'm gonna direct current your face. If you didn't counter that, you're not countering this, so. Look at all this damage. <sighs> Rocky Mountain High Colorado. Yeah, but Lightning Helix was never also a pump spell if you needed it to be. We also had War Leader's Helix, which was very playable, and that was deal four gain four. So, I mean. If you take away one damage and one life, and then you also get the integrity half of this, it's actually pretty good. I think our deck is good. Do you think our deck is good? It was the rhythm of the night. Do you... <laughs> it was the child of the night. Would you like, like me to open another pack? Yeah, go for it. Knock yourself out. Knock your friends out. So far, Mike has opened Runaway Steamkin, Legion War Boss. And March of the Multitudes. I have opened Gruesome, Menagiri. Another Elf Knight. Knight of Autumn and Sure Assemble. What's your Demir Guildgate? Here we go. Lawless Giant. Oh, foil. Alright. We're living the dream. And Natrata. I actually think that card's playable. I like a Natrata. Hello, mother. Hello, Atrata. I have come for all your creatures. Quintanata. <laughs> That's weird. Don't be weird. I'll keep this hand all day. All day, son. So we just play this guy on three, then this guy on four? Deal. Give me a two drop and make it even better. Make it even better, I said. I can't. Well, that, that's fine. I accept your... Offering. Mike's power is waning. Atrata isn't even a buck. Dang it, Michael. I don't have an opinion on that. <laughs> it's Alexa, I don't have an opinion on that. Why would you say that? I guess it's Legionnaire. Get in there, boy. No, that's not going to do it. And then we can play Cyclops next turn. And then we can play Venerated Loxodon and pump them both. Mike's power is dwindling. Gonna redeem yourself. You don't have to get from the top. You can dig in there. Dig on in hey, there. You want me to dig? All right. Yeah, like your uh, like your Delvin. Like you're back in standard, and you can look at the top seven and pick two. Pick any two you want, man. Hmm. Bia. I really like this is a deck splashing double venerated loxodon. I'm very happy with it. Wifling Knight. Demir Guildgate. And Hatchery Spider. Nope. It's all gone. His power is waning. We played too many lotteries. I think this whole game is to stop. This whole game is a lottery. You gotta know when to hold them. Know when to fold them. Know when it's lottery. Know when it's not. So next turn we'll have five lands. We go one, two, three. Play Cyclops. Use the other two lands and the three creatures to play Loxodon. Seems pretty good. I'm hungry. I mean, I'm going to eat a slice of cheese. I approve of that. That's the best snack you could have. And also what kind of cheese? I also like that you tagged me in that. That's great. I'm going to eat a slice of cheese. I just wanted you to know, man. Oh, that's good. I should know. You should tell me all about your cheese capades. 
Hashtag cheese adventures. I'll take two. I'm not threatened by these guys, and I don't want to lose my my Dragonauts. And we're going to South Dakota and Oregon and Washington. And we're not just going to D.C., Tom Harkin. We're going We're going to go to South Dakota, and we're going to go to Oregon. Biaw! That's a good uh, Howard Dean. Ooh. According to Polar Bear 4444, cheese sucks. <laughs> wow. Polar Bear 444 is like the most wrong person that's ever existed. I can understand not liking life. certain cheeses, as I am one who like that. But cheese in general, there's got to be one you like. I'm hungry. Oh, cheese sucks. Where do the cheese adventures take place? You, wherever you want, man. Wherever you want. Wherever your dreams take you. I love those timely references. <laughs> that is, yeah, that is a... I'm surprised that one actually uh, is still as... No, I'm against all... No, I'm against all cheese. That's weird. Have you tried all the cheeses? No. How can you be... Yeah, how can you be against all of them if you've never had all of them? Have you tried all of them? No. Stupid. Way to be a dummy. Way to be an ignorant cheese dummy. Like, if you're like me, who originally thought, like, cheese was basically, like, American cheese, then yeah, cheese is bad. Mmm, cheese is bad, okay. This feels good. But, like, a nice mozzarella? Hey, not like that. Uh, it's pronounced mozzarella. Mozzarella. Uh, I'm gonna fresh-faced. I'm gonna shoot this guy. And then I'm gonna come in there. One, Frank, two. if you could only have one cheese for the rest of your life, oh, what God. would it be and why would it be smoked Gouda? Well, because that one's very Gouda. <laughs> it wouldn't be smoked Gouda. I'm actually not a big... I will eat them and I appreciate them, but I'm not a big smoked cheese fan. It's too much of a... It's kind of a weird... Well, if you're lactose intolerant, obviously, but you should have come You should have come forward with that sooner. Yeah, see, that's, that's not... That's like a... That's like a... Your body can't let you eat it. That I understand. But you didn't say that at first, so you're trying to, you're trying to trick me. You're trying to make it sound like it's cheese's fault. It's, it's not cheese's fault. I have caramelized onions infused with cheddar in my refrigerant. What the heck? caramelized onions are also amazing it's like candy i still don't like the taste still so all right well whatever did you ever have the beecher's cheese i did actually i got some beecher's mac and cheese once it was very good what's the beecher's cheese your mother i don't even know what that is you don't know what your mother is wow did you heard it your first guys i was in mike Seattle doesn't know what his mother is for a whole year and i didn't have beecher's cheese yeah they were in uh there was a place in pike's place a place in Pike's Place. This is a very easy attack here. They're at nine. They're basically dead. Tomatoes and lemons suck. Well, if you're eating those together, that's just weird. I like tomatoes in things. I'm not a fan of tomatoes on their own, really. I like tomatoes on sandwiches. I have GERD. What is G-E-R-D? What is that? I assume it has to do with acidic acid. Yep, stomach acids. All right, that would make sense. Acidic acid, I said. That's not a thing. Ooh, back-to-back -back Thief of Sanity decks we're playing against here. Huh. Beacon Bolt for one? Watch this. You ready? You all ready for this? That's admirable with two months in a row. Meow, I'm Frank Lepar. Meow. Me too, buddy. Me too. Thank you so much, buddy. Love the support. Really appreciate it. I have heartburn right now. It's terrible. <clears throat> Gotta know when to hold them. Know when to blast them in the face. Our board is pretty good. Basically acid reflux on steroids. Yeah. Why not attack with the giant for at least one damage? I was doing I was going to. I wasn't even done yet. I just played him last turn. Don't waste my mother time. <laughs> Great ass! <laughs> that's, a, that's from Heat. If you guys have not seen Heat, it's easily the best Michael Mann movie ever. The movie's ridiculous. It's very good. It's the second best movie where uh, Robert... What's that, that shootout, shootout scene near the end? is so good. Oh, the like the best heist it's scene ever? In the ever. middle of the, the city with all the... Yeah, machines. the bank? Yeah. Uh, it also happens to be the second best movie with... Uh, Robert De Niro and Al Pacino in it. What's the first? Uh, Godfather 2, nerd. Fair. Got him. Got him. Got him. 
Why not attack with the giant? Oh, for at least I see what you... Yeah, you're smarter than me. I forgot about that. What kind of a train wreck draft? What's wrong with our draft? Our draft seems fantastic. How dare you? Heat is approximately one million hours long? I don't think so. Yeah, and it's it's one million amazing hours long. I'm actually going to play it's only like an hour and a half, right? Heat is definitely like two hours and 20 minutes, really? I think. Yeah, Heat movie. It is two hours and 52 minutes. Wow, is yeah. that long? It's a long Holy boy. crap. Didn't feel like two hours and a half. Two hours and 15 minutes, whatever. Two hours and a half. Two hours and a half hour. <laughs> this draft is a pile. A pile of the best Just Guy cards in the format. What is Heat even about? It's a heist movie. It's one of the best heist movies ever. It also has Danny Trejo in it. And Val Kilmer before he was fat. <laughs> is he fat still I don't know actually let's look up Val Kilmer 2018 Val Kilmer fat yeah his age is showing he's a little fat no he's looking alright he is looking age though Val Kilmer's doing really well after what does it say cancer battle oh wow I didn't know Val Kilmer was battling cancer Neither now I. I feel bad about making fun of his weight as uh, someone who has no right to do such a thing. so You thought it was a Boros Siege Worm deck? <laughs> it's actually three colors. Get your life together. Oh, boy. I wish I had a land here. Oh, man. What if we just go double venerated Loxodons? Holy Jesus. Fun fact, the movie Heat is based off several cases from the life of the detective Chuck... Adamson. Chuck Adamson is also my uncle. Hmm, that's cool. Is it cool? Is it cool? Alright, we're going to play this guy first because we want to really maximize this. Next turn we can also go 1-2 guy, 1-2-3-4 land Loxodon. Your YouTube videos make my work fantastic. Games of James, really appreciate it. Thank you, buddy. Glad to hear it. I a job where I can watch YouTube videos. How do you get into that racket? Uh, you get a degree, and so you can do like an IT job, and then that's so much work, though. Yeah, um, believe it or not, a lot of people in life actually do work, and then they have a more fulfilling life because of it. Tell me more. I think I, I think I've covered it. I think hmm. we're good. Now I'm probably just gonna play this guy. Elk Tears, what's going on, buddy? It's a little late, but I accept your lateness. What is? I don't even know what that means. Can I come visit you guys in New York again for uh, for Christmas for the holidays? I, I'd like New York when it's less hot. Can we do that? Let's have a let's have a, a time that I visit where it's not snowing, but it's also uh, not hot. Can we do that? Like right in the middle. Oh, they have one card in their hand. Oh, they can't beat this. This hand is, like, insane. Can't actually cast that guy, unfortunately, but <laughs> this is going to be pretty comical. Are you ready for this? <laughs> Double Loxodon. Ooh, biscuits. You guys are pretty big now. Yeah, they're, they're sizable, boys. Unfortunately, this beacon bolt is not, uh, it's not our fine, our, it, like, two of the three cards, three of the three of, three of four cards in our hand, we can't really play. We Dragonauts gets turned on pretty easy by a, an island of some sort. However, you know, I feel like we're pretty ahead here. They could, they could put this on here. I just got home from destroying a draft, Doom Whisper, when you already have Demir Spybug in play, that's pretty good. Uh, I'll surveil. Put a counter. Uh, I'll surveil. Put a counter. I'll surveil. Put a counter. I you I can play the expansion side. That's nice. Actually, oh I can boy. play. I know I can play one of the four cards. 
I can play Integrity and I can play Expansion. So I can play 0.5 of two cards. Wait, this is interesting. I guess I'm just blocking here. Y'all ready for this? I don't want you to have lifelink because I'm gonna wreck it. Oh god, if we just alpha here, this is so much damage, dude. Boop! And all of our guys can, like, none of their guys survive. All of our guys have at least three power, so. Alright, so you take 11 and you have one dude on board? Seems good. We could also integrity and then expansion it so that we can copy it. And this guy is trampled, so that's what? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is nine power with trample. Holy Ooh. vey. You're right. I think they I think they're dead if they if they are alive. I think they're dead. I think they're dead if they are alive. That's what I'm saying to you, bro. Okay, so But what does it mean? Plus two plus two. So this would be three, four, five. It's whenever you cast, right? So we're not casting the second copy, we're just copying it. So it's only going to get two triggers. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This has trample, so they'd probably block here. They would take four, block here. Yeah, they're just dead, right? Cast integrity on this guy. Cast expansion. Targeting this. Triggers. Same target is correct because of a little thing called trample. Oh, we also have a direct current in the, in the graveyard. That's also pretty nuts. Yep. Get him. So you can block six here. You can block five, five. Nope. All right. So you're blocking here. So you take six. I'll, yeah, you're dead. This is not even. Honest question. Should I keep watching you live or play this stream from the beginning and fall asleep to it? Real answers on you. No jokes, please. Um, I think I'm almost done. So that is entirely up to you. I think you're dead. I don't think it's even close. All right. This deck was nuts. Double venerated locks on. Mike was like, I don't even think you should splash the venerated locks on. And I was like, Michael, listen to me. Let me let me tell you about magic cards. And uh, then he learned. All right, I get it. I don't. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to stay here, and I want to sort by converted mana cost. Look at this. It's a work of art. It's actual work of art. It goes. Whoop! Look at this beautiful curve. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitch and Patreon. Both of the links are in the description below. You can also get some sweet, sweet undies at MeUndies.com slash Frank 15% off. You'll get free shipping and free returns on underwear, uh, lounge pants, tees, socks, anything you guys want. All in super, super soft micro model. So if you're looking for a wardrobe upgrade, you can definitely check that out. They also have uh, Star Wars and Halloween underwear right now, which is pretty sweet. So thank you guys so much for watching. really appreciate it. Check me out on those things that I listed below, and I'll see you next time.